Hello everybody, this is an update to the update on the Harbor Freight 6 inch dual action polisher and accessory review. Uh, in the update I was talking about this having a 6 inch backing plate, backing pad, and you know the 6 inch pads from Harbor Freight you know have a 5 inch uh, circle on here and they were getting chewed up. You know here's one you can see that was kind of getting chewed up around there because the pad, backer pad was too big for the pads that they sell. So. The solution would have been to have purchased a 5 inch backer pad, which I was looking around and I was thinking about ordering one. Uh, but one of my users, Bacon Soda, not users, one of the people who view my channel, Bacon Soda, uh, he suggested, you know, just chucking this up on the lathe to see if I can turn it down to 5, you know, before buying a, if it's worth, you know, seeing if it's worth buying a factory finished 5 inch pad. So I did that very thing. Uh, I'm going to show my setup here momentarily. Uh, can it be done? Yes. Uh, was it fun? No. Was it messy? Heck yeah. And, you know, this is neoprene, I believe. It's really soft. Uh, so what I ended up doing was, uh, you know, sticking this in the freezer for a long time to get it cold. And, you know, then chucking it up on my lathe. And actually did turn it down to five inches is what you see here. Uh, really, really messy. But, you know, now you can see this is one of the used pads, but you can see it fits on there just like it's supposed to. And it's not hanging out here with those hooks chewing up this outer diameter now. Plus you have a buffer, you know, of extra pad before you get into the, the hardness edge of this where you might tear up your finish. So I appreciated his uh, questioning on that. I figured I didn't have anything to lose. You know, I was going to order one anyway, so... As of right now, you know, I'm not going to have to. Uh, what I will say is that it seems to have disturbed the balance a little bit because uh, the counterweight that's on the machine, I'm making the assumption, is for a 6 inch diameter. And before I took it apart, you know, to shave material off this, without a pad on it, I just turned it on and it was, it was actually really well balanced in my hand. Uh, it seemed to be, get unbalanced a little bit uh, when I actually put a pad on it. The, a little bit of extra weight there, it would start, you know, shaking a little bit. So I'm going to use it as it's intended, you know, at this stage uh, with a 5 inch pad with the same counterweight in the machine, which I'm, I believe would be for a 6. Uh, I know you can get counterweights for like a 5 inch backer pad for like Porter cable, but I don't know if they fit this machine, you know, so if if anybody's got a porter cable with maybe a, a counterweight on it, if you wouldn't mind measuring the uh, hole spacing on it and kind of letting me know what it is and my viewers, I would appreciate it. Uh, something somebody else might consider. So with that being said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did this. Okay, you can see the yellow chaos everywhere. This is the neoprene. You know, it, uh, it's really soft. Uh, but you know, like I said, it was pretty dusty, pretty messy. Uh, but anyway, the way I did it was uh, I just chucked up a piece of scrap 12014 I had laying around and, you know, just turned it to a diameter randomly and put a 5 16th by 24 hole in it. Didn't take it out. Brought this out of the ice box, screwed it in here. Like so. You know, and just kind of used my compound here. Uh, set this at 56 degrees, you know, and this is how I made my cut. Just came in and cut it so I could cut the angle on the back of it. Standard lay stuff there, but like I said, it wasn't real fun. Um, it was messy, but hey, you know, it worked. And like I said, after, after I kind of got it all garbled up here, I came back with a big file with it spinning, you know, cut it here. I don't know what I turned this at, you know, in terms of speed. I just cranked it up. But, you know, just an update to the update. Uh, for somebody who has tools like this, you know, you might try it too, but expect it to be kind of a pain. You know, I don't have any nitrogen or anything to blast this with as I was working. So, all in all, it did work. Saved me some money. You know, it only took me 15, 20 minutes for the whole thing, setups and all. So, just another idea or buy one. Thanks for watching and good luck.